What's up everyone? This is 3CK Gaming and we are back again with another Sword Simulator video guys. This time around guys, I'm going to show to you how you can get a 24 billion damage sword. Really easy guys. I'm telling you guys, this is really easy to get and easy to make. So that's what I'm going to show to you guys. So first things first guys, of course, the weapon that I'm talking about is this weapon over here. It's called Ancient CD Blade and I'm gonna show you guys how you can get this one. So if you are new to the game guys the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the last map which is the coral so you need to make sure you get to there as fast as you can just reach the coral and you can get the sword in here okay now that we arrive to the coral zone guys the first thing that you need to do is you need to replace your current weapon with a really stronger weapon guys because one thing that you need to have in order to farm the ancient city blade a lot faster is you need a stronger sword first of course so you can kill the mobs a lot faster and the mob that we are going to farm guys is this mob over here the yellow pirate guy because if you look at here guys this mob over here only has a 0.1% chance of dropping an ancient seed blade and this one over here only have 0.4% chance guys and even the boss guys if you look at the boss it only has a chance of 0.48% what we need to farm is this yellow guy over here because this one has a 0.6% chance of dropping an ancient city blade so we are going to farm this one but like i said we don't have a stronger weapon so we need to get a stronger weapon first so we can farm this a lot faster so what you need to do guys on the collection index is you need to tick this one this one and this one and leave the pirate cutlass and this coral longsword and of course the ancient city blade untick so we have a chance of getting this one and the rest we just don't need it now if your character is single wielded you can either farm nine of this fire cutlass or nine of this coral longsword depends on what you want but for me i will specifically target the coral longsword it's actually have a decent drop of two percent you can get this easily as well but if you don't have time you can actually farm the pirates cutlass as well now if you're doing will that of course you need to farm 18 of this because you need to craft two sets anyways we are going to go here now there's actually a good spot here where you can farm this weapon a lot faster this spot over here guys is a good spot because you can actually kill three sunken fire rate at the same time so but before we start guys we are gonna go to the setting first and make sure that we are not auto deleting the epic weapons and the legendary weapons so so now guys we are going to start our auto farming and i will gonna speed this one guys because i don't want to bore you with auto afk farming so let's go a few moments later okay let's see how much i got oh my god the funny thing is i think i got like a couple of ancient city blade as well let's see uh look at that i got ancient city blade one how many did i got two dude i got like three ancient city blade on that bro okay look at this guys i actually managed to get more than nine of this legendary coral longsword first before i got like nine of the pirate cutlass but this one is way way better guys so let's go now the next step guys is we need to go to savannah and we are going to evolve this coral longsword we need nine pieces of this because we need three in order to evolve and we need three evolves in order to make an omega so we're gonna go here guys we're gonna fuse this one there you go and another one nice and then one more time let's go there you go guys so now that we have three evolved um coral longsword you can see here coral longsword they're all evolved we are gonna go now to the volcano there you go we're gonna go to the volcano and we are gonna convert this one into an omega weapon so we're gonna use this omega machine and we are gonna convert this three coral longsword into an omega weapon look at that guys it's done we now have an omega coral longsword now what you need to do next is up to you if you want to do this but for me if i'm starting i'm going to do this because it will make your farming a little bit more faster so what you need to do next guys is you need to travel to the castle and we are going to enchant this one with strength now that we're here guys you're just gonna select weapon we are going to enchant this coral longsword with either strength three four five or six it's up to you guys but for me i'm just gonna try enchanting it to three four five and six and it will keep spending until you you get either three four five and six so you need to be very careful on what you set on this one let's see how much gem this one will consume i have 18 million right now so let's go enchant okay i got it i got it on a couple of um thousands of gems but i got strength three for me this one is enough i'm gonna close this one 
And look at that guys, I have now a 4.48 billion weapon that I can use to farm the ancient city blade. Look at that. So we're gonna go back to the coral guys and we are gonna go back and farm this mob over here. Now that you have a better weapon that you previously have, you can now farm the ancient city blade a lot faster. And you can now auto delete these two weapons because we are now just focusing on getting the ancient city blade. We are gonna begin now guys and let's see if we can get the ancient city blade. Let's go. A few moments later. Okay, look at here guys. I already got one. Oh, actually two now. <laughs> actually got two ancient city blade guys. Look at here. Now, let's just say that you farm nine of this already. You just need to do the same guys. So let's auto up this one first. So now that you have nine of this, which is, uh, I actually have more. <laughs> you need to do the same guys. So just do the same. You need to go to Savannah. We are going to evolve our ancient city blade. One, two, and three. There you go guys. Now that we have three evolved, we're gonna go back to Volcano. You know, we're gonna make this into an omega weapon there you go guys look at that now let's check it out guys so we can see it here i'm gonna unequip this one and this is it guys this is the one 12 billion damage ancient city blade legendary weapon i look so amazing i love the glow but we are not done yet guys remember we are gonna make this into a 24 billion damage weapon like the one i have in here look at that that's a 24 billion damage weapon we're gonna go back to the castle and we are gonna try to get an enchant strength six we're gonna select this one guys let's go ancient city blade without an enchant and we are going to select maybe i'm gonna leave it with five and six let's see we can get either five and six with this one i'm gonna auto enchant i don't know if my 19 million gems is enough but we are going to try so let's go let's go cross fingers let's go oh my god i ran out of gems guys <laughs> I failed! I didn't manage it to get to strength 5 and 6. Yeah, but guys, that's the process you need to do in order to make a 24 billion damage weapon. Unfortunately, I didn't get it with 19 million gems. But you can see, guys, that's how it looks like if you manage to get a strength 6 enchant. I actually farmed 10 million gems because I want to try it again. And look at this, guys. I actually managed to get strength 5 enchant on about 100k plus gem spent only. That's crazy. I guess that's how RNG works, right? So that's how you can get a 20 plus billion damage weapon really, really easy, guys. You just need to follow those steps and in no time, you're gonna get your own billion damage weapon. And you know what? Whoever joins my server first when I'm in-game in Sword Simulator and trade me first, I'm gonna give him this Ancient City Blade Omega version for free. That's right, guys. Just trade me when I'm in-game in Sword Simulator. Just remember, guys, I need to be in Sword Simulator, okay? And you need to trade me first. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching and I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm really close on reaching my 10k subscriber goal, so please subscribe and thank you guys for watching. See you again next time, guys. Bye.